Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials, and this is how we're showing you guys how to build my 2x2 snake piston lift. Now, I consider this a lift and not an elevator because it really doesn't have a down function. My down function is jumping into water, and it's also pretty slow. So this isn't something to be going running home and doing right away. It's more of just like a fun build. I thought it'd be a really good idea for a crane. So let's see how this thing works, and then we'll start building. It's actually not that hard of a build. So we just walk over these pressure plates. Doesn't really matter which side we walk in from and our snake piston lift will start lifting us up now right now there is pretty much a glitch or maybe graphical error with minecraft on the xbox 360 i'm not sure about playstation i know they fixed it on the one i'm pretty sure but as you can see it kind of feels like we're going to glitch through the blocks but don't worry you're not going to and there's also a problem with tnt as well i'm waiting for that to get fixed but you know it's whenever 4j decides to fix this stuff so as you can see we are all the way at the top and then it will start retracting all the way down we could have went off any one of these little spots as you see i made little tiny holes in there so if you wanted to make it a multi-floor you can and and then obviously if you want to get down you know you go down into that water and don't do what i do because i would have just killed myself but as you see it's retracting all the way down it's nothing crazy but it's not a hard build at all as well so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build we're going to need an eight by eight spacing and we are also going to have to dig down sick now i'm not going to be giving the resources for this build because it's pretty much just a fun build so let's go ahead and take out the some things we are going to need to build said lift so there we go so once you've gotten your eight by eight spacing and you've dug down your six come to the bottom left hand corner and count over four blocks so one two three four and then we're gonna count up three blocks one two three and then we're gonna put a piston here put a piston to the right and then above both of these pistons we're gonna put two more pistons facing upwards like that next what I want you to do is take out your glass blocks and put two glass blocks right here we no longer need our glass and then on these two pistons, we're going to put two cauldrons with water inside both of them. Make sure you put water inside both of them and we no longer need our cauldrons anymore as well. Then on the pistons that have the two cauldrons, we're going to put blocks right next to them like that and like that. And then we're going to put two pieces of redstone dust down right next to the blocks. And then we're going to connect these two pieces of redstone dust together with more redstone dust like that. And what that's going to do is activate all the pistons on the floor. Next, what I want you to do is come over here to the bottom left hand corner. Put a block right here, put redstone dust right here, connecting to this redstone dust, put a block up right on top of the redstone dust and a block next to it. Then we're gonna come one more block over and then going into this redstone dust, we're gonna put two repeaters on four ticks delay. So going into this block, one, two, and set them both to four ticks delay. Then right behind the repeater, we're gonna put a block with redstone dust on top of it. Then above both of these repeaters, we're gonna go ahead and put some blocks. So go into sneak mode, Put a block right above that repeater a block here and then put redstone dust on both of these blocks then once you're done doing that we're going to take out some blocks of choice with our pressure plates and then we're going to put two of our blocks of choice right above both of this redstone dust and then our two pressure plates now don't touch them what those are going to do is activate these pistons down here next what i want you to do is swing to this side and then going into both of these blocks we're going to put two repeaters on four ticks delay then we're going to go ahead and put blocks up behind all of them with redstone dust on top of all the blocks then put a block on top of this redstone dust with a block next to it with another repeater going into this block on four ticks delay put a block behind the repeater a block above the repeater with redstone dust down on both of them come one more block up with redstone dust and then i'm pretty sure we have to go up another block uh nope we went up too high actually <laughs> so delete that block and we're just going to put two pieces of two blocks like this with redstone dust like that and then we're going to put two blocks of choice on top of them with two pressure plates and that will activate it from the other side now that we got our activation sequence in all we have to do is just put in our clocks and then our little tower to the top making our snake go all the way up so next to both of these cauldrons what i want you to do is put a block next to both of the cauldrons then coming out of both of those blocks facing away from the cauldrons we're going to put comparators going this way and this way and put both of them into subtraction mode so left click on the comparator and put it into subtraction mode next we're going to put a block up in front of the comparator and then we're going to pretty much just swing a line of blocks all the way around towards the side of the comparator on this side as you see where this uh repeater is make sure it goes around like that and we're going to do the same thing on this side put a block up in front of the comparator and then swing blocks all the way around like that next one to do is take out your redstone dust and pretty much bring this all the way around like that connecting it into the sides of the comparators and we don't want these two connecting so all we're going to do is just put a block here and a block here to disconnect those two next what i want you to do is actually delete these two pieces of redstone dust i made a mistake there and we're going to put a repeater coming out of this redstone dust going this way 
and this way on one tick delay now both sides are going to be mirrored guys so i'm going to do one side and then we're going to do the other side next what i want you to do is just test out your redstone clocks to make sure they are working fine so just go behind the comparator and put a cauldron behind it and then put a bucket of water inside of it and as you can see it is pulsing rapidly that is what we want so if you see this happening that means everything is working if it's not doing this you might have forgotten to put your comparator into subtraction mode because see if you put it out of subtraction mode it does nothing if it's in subtraction mode it starts pulsing very fast so make sure you check both of them i see both i already know both of them are working so i'm not going to check the other just make sure you check them to make sure they are working just fine so now we're going to do our line going all the way to the top this is going to activate our elevator so what we're going to do is put a block up in front of this one tick delay repeater put a piece of redstone dust on top of it then we're going to put another block up like this now you might want to use block to choice you will be able to see these blocks so make sure you use block to choice right here is going to be actually half slabs but just make sure you're just using a block that you will like the color if you're not using a block that color you don't like then you're going to do the whole entire thing and then have to take out all those blocks Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come up these two blocks like I did right here while talking and put two pieces of redstone dust like that. And then right here, like I said, make sure you pick a block you're going to want. So I'm just going to use a white stained clay. We're going to put two pieces of white stained clay like that and then put two repeaters coming out of it on one tick delay. Next, what I want you to do is go ahead and put two blocks of choice right on top of both these repeaters and then just bring the lines going up as high as you want. This is going to be the height of your elevator or lift, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to bring it all the way up like that. So once you've gotten to a height that you feel comfortable with, we're going to come right back down here and then we're going to delete every other block in between. So, you know, just delete these two, these two, make sure it's in between guys. So don't mess this up or else everything's going to be off. So we're going to just going to delete every other block in between like that i might not bring it up this high but we're just going to delete every block in between and then we're just going to put repeaters facing this way all on one tick delay so go all the way up to the top make sure you have them on one tick do not put them on two ticks or three ticks or four ticks or it's going to ruin the entire thing just keep them all on one tick delay so there we go once you've reached the top now all we have to do is just bring this line all the way up to the top so all we have to do is off every single line right here that see where this redstone dust is going up to here off every single one of these lines we're going to go ahead and put a slab upside down so put a slab upside down behind each one of these repeaters going all the way up to the top then off the back of every one of these ones we're going to go ahead and just put a regular block right behind it once you got all those in now you can just add redstone dust to all of these blocks all the way down and all the way to the top Make sure you do not overclick any of these repeaters or you're going to ruin some things. Once you've gotten all that done, now all we have to do is just add another ladder of slabs going all the way to the top just to connect all this redstone dust together. So all you have to do is come a block out from your slab and then put a half slab underneath it like that and then delete the block and just do that all the way up to the top. I usually like doing it another way, but this makes it a lot easier for you guys to understand. So just block out and then put a slab upside down, block out, slab upside down, and do that all the way to the top. Block out, slab upside down. All the way to the top once you've gotten all those slabs in take out your redstone dust and just add redstone dust going all the way down now obviously our elevator is not going to reach all the way to the top because you can only follow a length of 15 redstone dust so as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so right here one two three rows won't do anything because the redstone dust won't reach that far now the easiest way to make this work so you can have it set up so you can go as high as you want is count up to 10 anywhere from 10 to 13 redstone in between 10 and 13. so i like usually doing around you know 11 or 12 something like that so come all the way down here to where your repeater is and count up at least 10 to 13 redstone dust so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 i'm gonna go to 13 make sure you don't you're not on one of these ones make sure you're on one of the outer ones so i'm gonna go right here now as you, like i said it's not gonna extend all the way to the top so right off this 13th one what i'm gonna do is come out one block we're gonna put a repeater coming out of the redstone dust put a block up in front of the repeater a block over another block over going back towards our elevator and put two redstone dust well three redstone dust along all this and then a block right here with another repeater going into that redstone dust and what that's going to do is extend our signal do not go off 15 you cannot go off 15 redstone dust make sure it's at least anywhere from 10 to 13 and then add your extension on like that so now what we have to do is do the same thing you just did here on this side as well so right in front of our repeater we're going to put a block up right in front of it with redstone dust a another block up next to it like i said make sure you use some blocks of choice you will be able to see these and then we're going to go ahead and put two repeaters in like this one 
two and then two repeaters going that way on one tick delay so now what i'm going to do is just fill in the rest guys you should already know what to do and then we'll meet back once i got everything in all right guys so i'm going to show you how to do the extension one more time i put everything in because i know that extension part is a little bit troublesome and can get a little confusing for some people so come all the way down to the repeater i'm going to count up anywhere from 10 to 13 but obviously we're going to do the same length like we did on this side if we you know if you mix match it it's going to ruin everything so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 like that so right here is where our 13th one's going to go and also you have to make sure that it goes 13 14 15 but if you do it like the way i said it you should be fine every single time so then off the 13th one we're gonna come out a block put a repeater going this way on one tick delay put a block up in front of the repeater put a block over and over to the side of the repeater with three pieces of redstone dust like that and then going into this block we're going to put another repeater on one tick delay so now let's say if you wanted to make it keep going up and you want another extension what you're going to have to do is count from this repeater now from where this repeater is, you're going to, have to count and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so on and so forth just like that if you want to add more in so last but not least all we have to do is add in our pistons for our snake and we will be completely done so what i want you to do is come right down here and then off these repeaters right here, see where these two repeaters are and these two repeaters are. We're going to go into sneak mode and we're going to put sticky pistons facing downwards right here, 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 like that off those repeaters. As you can see, it is almost flush to the floor. And then we're going to put four pieces of sand or gravel right on top of it. So now as you can see, it's flush to the floor completely. Do not touch those pressure plates or you're going to ruin some things. And next, what I want you to do is come right down here where our stuff is. And we're going to put four pieces of sand like this. Don't worry, we're going to be deleting that sand. And then we're going to put two sticky pistons facing upwards here. Delete this two sand right there. And then come over here and do the same thing. Put two sticky pistons facing upwards right here and right here. Make sure they're facing upwards. And then delete these two sand blocks. And that is it, guys. You should be completely done. So if I click this pressure plate like that. As you can see, our snake piston elevator activates. It will go all the way up. It will then hit our extension right here. Go past the extension, see how the extension worked. Go all the way to the top. And then it will start retracting down. And I know it looks really glitchy, guys, but trust me, it works fine. Hopefully, 4J will fix it soon. On the PC, this will work great. Don't worry, this works on the PC just fine. This is actually where I built it first. And then it flops down all the way to the beginning. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. You just built the entire lift. And obviously, you can have two sides for it. And all you have to do is clean it up. And if you want an easy way down, all I did was on mine was I just added water right here on the sides to jump down did i just activate that again by accident <laughs> yeah i did but there you guys have it that's how you build my a piston well my two by two snake piston lift if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace